All right, guys, welcome back to another ECW Retro Review. Started off in 2006, we're now into 2007, and it is the January 9th show. Two weeks into 2007, and um, in my opinion, the shows are pretty much gone down hell. I never thought I'd say this, but I think since Big Show lost the belt, <laughs> I think ECW. I disagree. I think the show's been. I think the shows have been pretty shite for a long time. <laughs> Actually. No, I mean, I don't, I mean, I've got to be honest, Extreme Rules matches are few and far between I know, now. but they, 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 we, didn't, we didn't get any Extreme Rules matches for, like, Big Show, I mean, at the start, the first couple of months there was quite a few, but realistically, I mean, the last couple of months, like maybe a month before the pay-per-view, there was not much happening. Test RVD? That was ages before the pay-per-view, was it? Oh, well, there you go, right, so we kick off. This show, we see him Punk versus Hardcore Holly uh, a couple weeks ago. Punk challenged Holly, Holly accepted, but it was only a three minute match. Holly says he couldn't make him tap within three minutes, and he didn't. So, Hardcore Holly, you know, Hardcore Holly won, I guess, because he, he lasted the three minutes. But let's be real, he didn't really win. He just outlasted it a three minutes. It was like a, you know, he kind of like, it was, he, he lured Punk into a challenge, and Punk thought he was getting a proper match, and he was getting a three minute challenge. So, fair enough. But this is a normal match, and surprisingly, Harko Holly beats Punk here, losing his undefeated record. Like, what the hell? Um, just rams him into the, the shoulder, rams, rams his shoulder into the ring post, lifts him up, hits the Alabama slam. You know, your, your typical Harko Holly, I guess it's a hard-hitting match, like, but it's just not very interesting. Know, how, how can you go one week where, oh, Punk... Oh, you should have beat him within those minutes, so he just had a couple more seconds to... Oh, Holly beats him. Yeah, um, I, I, to me, it's a bit retarded. I mean, you built up CM Punk uh, to just have him to have him lose to Hardcore Holly. It just seems seems a bit flat. Yeah, let's be real, guys. Seems a bit lackluster. Hardcore Holly is not the Rock. Hardcore Holly is Hardcore Holly. Yeah. Uh, you know, to me, if, if it was similar with Kevin Four, I mean, he was on an undefeated streak, and then one week he just faced Tommy Dreamer. And, then and lost it, you know where? A guy who's been booked. A by. guy that's been jobbing to everybody. Yep. Yet Tommy Dreamer beats a guy that's been on a roll. Then the next week, Kevin Foreign takes on Sabu Chamber and, and loses two weeks in a row. And then I can't remember whose next match was against. I think it was Punk. Yep. Then he lost. So three losses in a row. I mean, I don't understand it. Like, you're trying to build up these new people and give them undefeated streaks, which makes sense, but. I don't know. I, I just think the way Kevin Foreign lost, I thought it was shocking. And I mean, the way CM Punk lost. I mean, well, I don't know. We'll see what happens with the rest of the Punk Hardcore Holly feud. If they are going to continue feuding, or is that it? <laughs> is Hardcore Holly like, well, I, I beat you now, so I've nothing left to prove? I don't know. But I was very shocked to see Hardcore Holly get the win. Decent match, though, so, you know, is what it is. Uh, up next, with Great Cali versus Tommy Dreamer in an Extreme Rules match. Anything but extreme. This is the first extreme rules match we've had in a, a long time, and it really it wasn't an extreme. I mean, Tommy Dreamer comes in, hits Tafari with a, a road sign, hits Cali with a road sign a couple of times. Cali does the choke sl double choke slam, not even on the chair or nothing like that. No tables involved, no nothing they involved. No wire, no thumbtacks. No, you know what I mean? No like, glass. I'm not expecting a Dreamer driver on Cali for a table. Like, let's be real here around this time. TNA was far more extreme. Oh, aye, aye. I mean, look at TNA, the mo I look mean, at the monster balls TNA were doing. I mean, you could argue that average TNA, the, the, a monster ball was more hardcore than even the one night stand DCW had. I know. Especially the, the, the look at the um the barbed wire massacre between Sabu and Abyss. That was brutal. The monster balls were brutal. They were using the barbed wire table boards. They were using the thumbtacks, shard glass. I mean. <laughs> I know WWE probably aren't going to go down that route, but fuck me, you could at least have Extreme Rules. See, ECW, I mean, how can it exceed went without Extreme Rules matches? That's what people want. I know. That's what made it different. I mean, in my opinion, there should be at least one Extreme Rules match every week on ECW. Yep. That's what it kind of was like at the start. But then for some reason... Finny Max said, no, we're no day in Was it any guys. coincidence that since Heyman's gone, it's... I mean, I do think that, I know you disagree, but I do think the shows have been doing hell since... Yeah, but let's be real, before Big Show left, we were still giving shows like twos and ones and threes. I mean, the, if we really went from threes to, oh, we're giving this a zero. Yeah, maybe not. Anyway, Cali beats Dreamer. Fucking, who's surprised? I'm not. This whole Cali stint on ECW has done nothing for me. No, he's boring. Get, get rid of him. I mean, get rid of him. 
I, I could maybe understand to bring him in now, but why the hell they brought decided to bring him in when they already had the big show? I mean, they're trying to put over the big show as the most dominant champ, and then it's insulting your intelligence because, like, ten minutes before on the card, you've had a guy that's a couple of inches taller or whatever. So, no, no. you know, just um, doesn't make any sense to me. So, uh, you know what? It is what it is. Up next with an RVD promo, talked about his match with Lashley the night. Nothing really, you know, RVD just typical. Says it means so much to him to be CW champion. It wasn't bad, but you know, that's what it is. Then with Kevin Foreign taking on Shannon Moore, the reject, the I, guy. I that... even feel though with Van Dam, he doesn't believe these promos. It's kind of just like, oh, I'm here. All right, well, here we go. Heyman's gone, company's dead. Kevin Foreign versus Shannon Moore. Uh, Shannon Moore's yet to pick up a win on ECW. I don't think he ever will he pick, pick up, up an, an ECW. Um, that is what it is. Kevin Foreign won. Um, I, I don't get it. It's almost as if WWE are, are trying to book the guy again. They're like, well, you know what? I know we, we jobbed him out for three weeks in a row, but... I mean, last week he broke Bald Mahoney's jaw. And then this week he kind of destroys Shannon Moore. But he beats him with, he beat him with his finisher. And Joey Styles was kind of making it as if he'd never seen it before. So it was very weird to me. It was... It was as if they, was, it's as if they were like, right, you know what, we're going to hit the reset button on Kevin Foran and they just expect everybody watching to not know what's been happened with the guy. We know what his finisher is, and mm -hmm. we know that he, he lost three weeks in a row, so him getting a win over Balls Mahoney and Shannon Moore ain't really doing much for me. But it was, it was alright. Quick match. I mean, but again, it's right. two guys who are just no heat. Yeah. They've been extinguished. Cold heat. That thing is used. There was fire extinguisher, and there was no, uh, there was no for Balls Mahoney or whatever. That's the thing. I, I don't feel like seeing this ECW. There's not really a lot of direction. I mean, I don't feel like the feuds are going anywhere. No. It's like you you have feuds for a couple of weeks and then it just completely dies. Like Sandman Matt Striker for a couple of months ago was was interesting me. I know, and but then it just with just all it just dis it died. It just died. So I, I don't know what's happening. I mean, is, is, is there going to be a... F I mean, the, maybe the CM Punk Hargo Holly thing will die. I don't know. Maybe ECW will die. Uh, we had up next... Um, it was... Three more years, big man. <laughs> it was a Kelly Kelly package. She's returning soon. Uh, then we had... Next week. Uh, Elijah Burke. He called out the locker room. And Sandman came down. Elijah Burke got caned and then ran to the back. Uh, referee says to Tess, you're up next. Tess refused to wrestle. He says he calls the shots. He says he should... I mean, they're trying to get Tess to come across here as like a, you know, a, a bitchy kind of, oh, I'm not doing what he told. I deserve this, I deserve that. But he's actually got a point. I mean, he's beat RVD. He's beat Sabu. He, he beat them both in a triple threat match. I know. I mean, the guy hasn't been pinned on ECW. And, and that's an overhang. Now with Heyman gone, who, who's the authority figure? Yep, I know. I mean, is it, is it Scrap Daddy Adam Pierce? <laughs> like, yeah, that referee. What's his name? John Finnegan? Or? Uh, is he booking the matches? Big John? Big match like, Finn? He's telling Tess to compete, but <laughs> who's telling him to tell Tess to compete? Um, hey, Mac. And then in the main event, rematch for last week, RVD Bobby Lashley. I mean, it was all right. It was, didn't really, doesn't, doesn't really do much for me. Tess comes out in the end, interferes, causes the DQ. Uh, we don't get a winner. It's two weeks in a row now we've had Bobby Lashley versus RVD and we don't get a winner. So, like obviously they ain't going to take the belt off Lashley but I guess they don't want to have RVD lose so you know how many times are they going to have RVD Bobby Lashley and not have a you know a winner um, I know guys it's... again it just seems like jobber title matches where we don't have a pay per view but we'll just we'll have a title match to try and We're make too it afraid to have Van Dam get beat like <laughs> instead of having to have a title match to try and build the show just Fucking have a good show, and then you wouldn't need to have a title match. Mm -hmm. and that's basically what it is. It's it's title match, title match. Oh, tune in tonight because there's a title match. How well, about, there's no extreme stuff though. Just if if the, if the show was good, you wouldn't need a title match. No. Anyway, that's it. I'm going to give it a. I don't even know what to give this. It wasn't that good. Two out of ten. Three out of ten. Two. I'll give it a two. I mean, nah. Hardcore Holly beating Punk. What was that all about? We get the same main, main event as last week. Yeah, I'll give it. I'm going to give it a two, guys. Unfortunately, can't give it much more than that. Um, it is what it is. 
Yeah, it is what it is, guys. I'm getting it 2 out of 10. So 2 out of 10. Hopefully these shows can get a bit better. We should be... We're approaching the Royal Rumble WrestleMania season, so... <laughs> I don't know. Can these shows get a wee bit better? I'm hoping so. Uh, maybe we'll get appearances for Vince McMahon soon. Donny T. Maybe we'll have the, um, the, the new breed faction forming. What well, we'll find out, guys. And then maybe... When the, the extreme breed, the originals, maybe they'll get more screen time coming soon in the next couple of weeks. So I don't know, guys. But anyway, till next time. Peace. Peace.